Ellen DeGeneres has disclosed that she has been diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, in addition to a number of other medical issues. In her latest Netflix comedy special, for your approval, the 66-year-old former TV presenter detailed her long list of issues. She also disclosed that, in response to claims that she created a hostile work environment on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, she sought treatment to deal with all the hatred. In the special, Ellen indicated that she was well-adjusted because of her ADHD, but that she had no prior awareness of OCD. Yes, I am very organized, she answered, thinking that was the O. I may have OCD because a therapist said so, she said. I had no idea that OCD existed. Christian science, the religion I was raised in, denies the existence of illnesses or disorders. Thus, no one discussed anything when I was growing up. Nothing was discussed at all. Now that I'm older, I see my dad had OCD for sure. Before we left the house, he would unplug all of the appliances in case lightning struck and they caught fire. He would also check the doorknob and the faucet 15 times. Someone says it might run in the family. Ellen disclosed that she had asked her 15-year wife, Portia de Rossi, if she thought she had OCD, and she had received a positive response. It's funny, I never thought of myself as obsessive, she said. I consider myself to be cautious, whereas everyone else seems reckless and uncontrollable. OCD, or obsessive compulsive disorder, is a common mental illness that causes people to have thoughts that are uncontrollable and to behave in ways that are difficult to manage. The site claims that while it can afflict people of any age, it typically manifests in early adulthood. People may have unpleasant or undesired thoughts repeatedly as a result of it. Compulsive conduct refers to repetitive actions or ideas that a person engages in repeatedly in an attempt to cope with obsessive thinking. Treatment options for this ailment are mainly limited to psychological counseling or medication. Ellen focused on her ADHD, a long-term condition that impacts an individual's conduct and is marked by persistent symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention. She shared that she found it difficult to keep herself from becoming sidetracked. She said, it's very difficult for me to sit down and focus on anything at all because of my ADD. Do you have any idea how difficult it was for me to put this together? You don't, of course. Why would I pose such query? I have trouble focusing. So, I have ADD sick, I have OCD, and I'm losing my memory, Ellen continued. But I think I'm well adjusted because I fixate on things, but I don't have the attention span to stick with it, and I quickly forget what I was obsessed over in the first place. Thus, I believe it brings me all the way to being well-adjusted. In another segment of the program, Ellen disclosed that she suffered from full-on osteoporosis, a condition that results in fragile and easily broken bones. She revealed that her doctor had recommended that she obtain a bone density test, which is how she found out about her illness. Ellen remarked, I don't even know how I'm standing up right now, before making a joke about how her bones felt like sand. Like a human sandcastle, that's me. I might fall apart in the shower. The cartoonist also disclosed that she had been given an arthritis diagnosis, a long-term ailment that results in pain, stiffness, swelling, and inflammation in the joints. She remarked, It's difficult to be honest about aging and seem cool. I believe I had torn a ligament or something when I experienced tremendous pain one day. After getting an MRI, they said it was simply arthritis. How did I get that? I asked. Oh. That just happens at your age, he replied.